thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your host, Super Sorrel. So, it's that time again. It's time for another Super Sorrel movie review. This time, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power! And it's the Out of Shadows review. I've just come back from the cinema. That was a cool movie. Wow! So, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I, I knew it was going to be okay. But, because I, I like the last film, and I don't mind Michael Bay movies as much as a lot of people on the internet seem to hate Michael Bay movies. I don't mind them. I like the Transformers films. And um, the last film was okay for me, but this kicked it up several notches. The quality of Out of Shadows absolutely just it destroys the previous one. And it pays homage, deep homage, to the comic books and very much to the 90s TV series. Or the 80s TV series. And um, that's a good thing. So obviously with the introduction in this one of Bebop, Rocksteady and Krang, we are seriously on the TV series uh, territory, which is great. Anyone that grew up in the 80s and 90s know those characters and know exactly that version of the Turtles. The moment I saw the first trailer that introduced Krang and the uh, the Turtles bus, well, the dumpster truck, I knew they were onto it because I had those toys as a kid. And it just, it just, it brings something out. If you've had those toys as a kid and they do a movie using those things, it brings back that sort of boyhood, sort of wanting to play with the toys again. And this movie definitely did that for me. The story quality this time around, yeah, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, so please don't be expecting anything too dramatic and serious. It's a Turtles movie. It's made by Nickelodeon. It's a kid's film at the end of the day. And not to take anything away from it, it had a great deal of story, but a lot of action and a lot of comedic moments, which were just perfectly executed in my opinion. There were um, there was a lot of sort of light-hearted laughs and deep sort of bro bro the brotherly bond sort of aspect of this. Um, it was just a great film, and I'm struggling to bring it all to words and uh, without spoiling it. But um, I'm finally glad that they brought Casey Jones to the big screen. Obviously, we still have to deal with Megan Fox as April O'Neil, which oh, that's a whole different story. We won't go there. But, um, because I, I don't like Megan Fox as April O'Neil. Didn't in the first one, don't in this one. She's a damsel in distress. I hate it. But, Casey Jones brings a new level to the, you know, to the program, to the, to the program, to the film. And, um, I'm really impressed with his performance in this. He was definitely an underdog going in. Uh, but I think the film made him look good. Um, Krang, he's good. It's hard to talk about Krang without going to spoiler territory, so I'm going to leave that there. Krang's good. It's good he's in it. Leave it there. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles themselves. So, this time around, there's definitely... I definitely felt more of the uh, personality aspects coming through on these turtles. Whereas in the last film, it kind of felt rushed and mashed together. This one definitely feels more like you've got Michelangelo, who's the fun and easy kid. Then you've got Donatello, who's the geek kid, who can do all these things with like technology. Leonardo's the headstrong leader. And then you've got Raphael, who's the muscle. Um, they play those roles well in this film. And uh, when they come together, it's just, they can wreck any foe, let's put it that way. <laughs> it's a great movie. Guys, it's hard to talk about this film without going to spoil the territory. From everything you've seen in the trailer, let me say that that isn't all the action in the film. There's a lot more of it to come. And it didn't show the best bits in the trailer by any means. So definitely check out the film. I'm glad I've been to see it tonight, guys. And thank you very much for listening. So guys, from me, I'm going to give this film two big thumbs up. I really enjoyed it. Here is in a half shell, guys. I'll see you soon. Turtle power. <laughs>